You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Monday to you, sir. Hey, John and Heidi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> John and Heidi. You know, we've been married 23 years now. We had our anniversary over the weekend. The twi- Are you serious? I yeah. thought it was like the 20-something. No, it's, it's the what? 11th. Yeah. Heidi took me out for the fanciest rest or fanciest uh, date. It was the it was the best. Holy cow! So you got anniversary. Got him a new dress. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, <laughs> she treated. She got me a manicure and a pedicure. <laughs> okay, none of those things. We are so boring. We didn't do diddly squat. But I think it's just kind of nifty that the anniversary is ju- just within within punching distance of Valentine's. Yeah, yeah. we were going to get married on Valentine's Day. If I could do it over again, Dan, I wouldn't have gotten married on the eleventh. I would have done like the sixteenth. Okay. Because then everything's on sale. I picked the All worst the time candies. ever to get married, right before Valentine's Day. Oh, the most that's expensive true. time. Yeah, the rough. most expensive. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what was I thinking? So, yeah. When I renew my vows someday, <laughs> 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 it'll be on Black Friday. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, you could do it in front of Judge Jerry. That's what he does now. Jerry Springer is 79 today. Is he really? 79. Nice. Okay. Still getting it done. Still doing it. Is he a judge? He plays one in oh, his wow. most recent incarnation. Well, then so does Gary Busey. Busey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that doesn't not, necessarily mean a lot. If you've not lot. seen it, do yourself a favor <laughs> you need to and look up in. Gary Busey. <laughs> Right, Pet uh, justice. First Lady Abby Barrett from uh, the series West Wing. Oh, yeah. And also Betty Rizzo from the movie Grease. Yeah. Stockard Channing is 79 today. Very nice. Happy birthday. Yup. And, man, you knew him, you loved him. Went solo in 1975, original lead singer of Genesis, Peter Gabriel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Celebrates today 73, some great hits. Solo-wise, it was actually Phil Collins who took over for him, who was the drummer. Yeah. And Phil's, I've seen Phil Collins in concert. Yeah. I had no idea how good he was. He got behind a drum kit, and I'm a tough audience. And about a fourth of the way through, I'm going, this guy's got real chops, man. Mm-hmm. He was fantastic. He knew what he was huh. doing back there. Anyway, Peter gave us, let's see, Shock the Monkey. Oh, yeah. yeah Red Rain, song. Rhythm of the Heat, but of course his biggest hit, 1986, Sledgehammer. Yeah. Great song, great video. Yep. You know that video had no video footage at all? It was all photos? Great video. Well, you know, John, <clears throat> this the new stuff. This is the new stuff. I go dancing in. We go dancing in. Oh, won't you show for me, show for me. I will show for you, show for you. <laughs> Please show for me, show for me. Huh, I will show for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I do mean you. Show for me. <laughs> nice. Nice. Peter Gabriel, gentlemen, there you go. A little taste of history here. Boy, the exciting old West. It was nuts. It was this day in 1866. Jesse James and his boys. Robbed the first bank, the Clay County Savings Association in beautiful Liberty, Missouri. Yeah. They, sn- they snagged 15 grand. Holy cow, that was Whoa. a lot of dough back then. A lot of dough back then. 15 grand in 1866, John and Heidi, is about $280,000 today. Whoa. Nice. And they just kept on rolling. 1981, longest sentenced ever published. It's published by New York, the New York Times. 1,286 words. Oh, my goodness. So it wasn't the first time it was published. It was the first time it was thrown out to the public. It was huh. really long, really rambling. It was uh, written by William Faulkner. It was 1936 <laughs> book, Absicom, Absicom. And uh, this sentence actually made the 1983 Guinness Book of World Records. As the world's huh. longest sentence. The world's longest, 1,286 huh. Holy words. cow. And all the punctuation is correct. Oh, it's wow. just an ongoing sentence. It goes on, <laughs> it's and a on and on. You mean like a story from me? <laughs> and on and on. Two thousand, a sad day. Mm, why? Worldwide, really. Two thousand. This day, the very last original Peanuts comic strip oh, yeah. appears in newspapers across the country. One day after Charles M. Schultz passes away. Yeah, Aww. I remember that. So there you go. I know you know. We all know. We just. 
Bust ahead. Going to do exactly that. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we promise probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Excited to have a comedian joining me as my guest today. We have Stephen Taylor. How you doing, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fantastic. You're going to be in Sioux Falls this Thursday at Lucky's in downtown Sioux Falls. And if folks would like to get tickets, I'll tell them how to do that here in just a bit. Have you been to Sioux Falls for comedy in the past, sir? I've never been to Sioux Falls. I've never been to South Dakota. This oh. is going to be uh, this is going to be my first big one. Now you are from the Midwest. Where are you currently located? I'm in Kansas City now. I grew up in Louisiana, and uh, I've been in Kansas City for the past seven years now, doing comedy that entire time. That is awesome, and I love your website, formerlyfatsteven.com. So I'm assuming you've lost some weight. Is that the plan? You know, I did, and now I'm gaining it all back. I might have to change my name before too long. It's more of a motivating factor at this point now. So now it would have to be formerly, formerly formerlyfatsteven.com. You just throw an extra formerly in there, and you're good. Look, I'm just going to keep buying all the domains until I go broke. (laughs) So now how long have you been doing stand-up comedy? It's going on, uh, I think this is my eighth year now doing stand-up. So, Stephen, what was it that drew you to comedy that made you say, I'm going to get up on a stage and talk to a bunch of strangers like this? Trauma, you know, the same. (laughs) I think that everybody gets into it. I think, uh, you know, at a certain point, especially growing up fat, you either learn how to fight or you learn how to be funny. And uh, I got very good at being funny. I was always the funny one in the group. Finally, when I moved to Kansas City, there was a place to do comedy. So I gave it a shot and turned out I was pretty good at it. And I liked it a whole lot. So I just keep doing it. Well, we're excited to have you in Sioux Falls on Thursday. And I see you're going to be in Pier on Friday. So uh, that's cool. You'll be in South Dakota twice this week. South Dakota twice. And then we're going to be in Lincoln, Nebraska on Sunday or on Saturday. So we're doing uh, a a nice little run. And I'm excited to to see it. Can I see Mount Rushmore from Lucky's? Is that possible? Where's where's Mount Rushmore at? It's on the other side of the state. So you can see it like on a, on a, (laughs) in a photo or something, maybe. So. Man, I should have I should have paid attention to geography. No, that's all right. No, it's it's all good. No, we're uh, we're about five hours from Rushmore, so it's probably it's probably uh, and then maybe a little closer when you get to Pier. You're only like halfway there, so okay. But if you want to make it to Lincoln, Nebraska, the next night, you might not be able to do that. Yeah, and hopefully it doesn't snow. Hopefully it's going to be a good time. I'm bringing with me uh, Anna Mae Smith. Oh, was nice. one of the funniest comics that I know, and the shows are lined up to be a lot of fun. I've been looking forward to this run of shows well, for uh, a couple of months now. And the nice thing is, Lucky's is a great room. For folks who have not been to Lucky's for comedy, I encourage you to get down there. This would be a great time to do it this week uh, because, again, uh, you got a really funny comic that we're talking to right now, and you're bringing some folks with you, and there's a couple of local people, I believe, that are involved in the show as well. So a great opportunity, and it's a room that's it's not a tiny room, but it's not a huge room. It's the perfect size room for comedy. That's what you love to see. That's what I uh, I specialize in doing. I've never been a big room comic. I'll always do some bar that we can find that's got low ceilings and a nice room, and they like comedy. That's what I go for. So, yeah, if you haven't been to a local comedy show, I highly recommend it. It's how I spend a lot of my, a lot of my free time. There you go. It's coming up this Thursday in Sioux Falls at Lucky's, downtown Sioux Falls. Beautiful place. 8 o'clock this Thursday. I'm going to throw a link to make it easy to find tickets and get all the details. Again, Stephen, thank you so much for your time today. I look forward to seeing you in a few days. Yeah, can't wait to meet you, man. Absolutely. Again, uh, formerlyfatsteven.com is his website. Stephen Taylor is his name. And I've got a link to all of the information at facebook.com slash sunnyradio and facebook.com slash Sioux Falls News. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a mint intervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current Current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And now stuff Dan finds interesting.
It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Monday? You know, it's perplexing to me. When it first started out, it was like, oh, God, it's kind of a cool promotion. But to what it's become, it's like pretty crazy. You know, we just wrapped up the 10th annual Downtown Sioux Falls Burger Battle. Oh, yeah. yeah. And whether you partake in it or not, I mean, you know, I don't. But right. I missed it completely this year. You know, I think the original year it was seven, I want to say seven contestants, seven entrants. Something like that. There 32 this year. And some of them yeah. don't even typically sell burgers. I think one was a tattoo shop. Yeah. So, yeah I mean, it, was, it was a bank. Yeah. It's yeah. People that- <laughs> Not for the only drive through, which was kind of nice, but. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you got a little out of hand, I'd say. Yeah, you literally had to be down there. Send every... your burger down through that <laughs> suction tube. <laughs> yeah. That'd be hilarious. Did but you want mustard? Get some stats on that. This is how huge this thing was this year. The 10th annual, again, 32 contestant, contestants. You literally had to be down there every single day, yeah. plus one. Yeah, the, and nobody you did. Know, that. You know that well, there, there were a couple. There were some people did. Twenty four people. Yeah, twenty four people. One guy did it in just over a week. Covered all thirty two burgers, which is pretty. You nuts. would have to, to think be of able what to that would set you back because we did it last year. Heidi and I went for lunch. I, I didn't realize how much the burger was. We're going to do that, and it was like sixty dollars for the two of us to have lunch. Burgers. Well, here's how it broke down. They unloaded. 32 contestants, contestants unloaded 57,000 burgers in the month of January. Wow. Jeez. In excess of $900,000 in revenue yeah. just for these burgers. Yeah. That averages almost 16 bucks per burger. Yeah. yeah. So you know somewhere in their 20s, somewhere yeah. maybe 12, yeah. somewhere 30 bucks, d- depending. Yeah. So yeah, big do re me. Crawford's won this year, I by saw the that. way. Okay. And uh, I know the player's got a good friend of mine, uh, Danny Myers. Danny Myers works yeah. Crawford's been around yeah. a long time. He's an uh, amazing chef. And a great guy. One with the, and this is where I have a problem. Okay. Now, I did about mm, 12, 15 years in the food beverage business before I went into media broadcasting. Right. Yeah. So I'm no slouch when it comes to the kitchen and whatever, whatever. To me, a burger's a burger, man. Yeah. It all depends on what you're starting with. What, what did they have? Be. This is the winner from Crawford's, and this is how it's described. The truffle jam burger. Okay. Prime beef patty, yeah. tomato pepper jam, baby arugula, jalapeno bacon, black truffle cheese oh. on a pretzel bun with a side of truffle parmesan chips. Okay. That actually what's, sounds really good. What's wrong it with sounds that? really good, but it doesn't sound like a burger. Oh, that's sounds a Sounds like a high-end dinner salad. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Huh. I mean, everything on here, it's like... It's like putting pineapple on a pizza. Yeah, yeah, you just don't. You know, do it. it's like I, it's it really good. I like it. it. <laughs> Whatever. So I uh, would be the kind who would like pineapple on a pizza, wouldn't I, Dan? So I congratu- yes, congratulations <laughs> to uh, to Crawford's this year. It'd be interesting when this thing goes. That I had no idea. Almost yeah. a million bucks in sales. Yeah. So was there a charity tied in this year that benefited from this? Do we know? What an awesome question. I'm guessing no, because it's downtown. Okay. <laughs> No, in the past, there they had raised some money for some good things. Call to Freedom was one that uh, made some money from that. Oh yeah, so. what a great, you know what? I read two different articles on it, and I didn't see mention. So well, they maybe if they did, they probably would have said that. But yeah, yeah, hmm. maybe they just decided they, to keep it all. This I'm year. guessing. I know one of the downtown banks sponsored uh, sponsored it. Hmm. But uh, maybe I can kind of. What a great question. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'd sit here, John, look you in the eye and say, hey, I'll look into that, but I'd just be lying. You can say that. <laughs> you do quite often. You're like, yeah, I'll check into that. And then I say something five minutes later, you're like, what? What are you talking uh, about? Uh, All right. Hey, f- thanks for coming in, Dan. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It Have is. a prosperous, blessed night. I'll see you Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. Absolutely. Right. It is the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Dan Ferris. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Monday, February 13th, 2023. Equity markets tried to rebound Friday, but the action was more mixed than not. Investors are scooping up bargains where they can find them, but this will not lead to a sustained uptrend. The outlook for earnings continues to deteriorate, and that is a weight the market cannot bear. 
The risk now is not just that the S&P 500 stocks will move down to retest the 2022's low, but might move lower. Next week will be a market mover for sure. Not only is it a big week for earnings, but the CPI data is also due. The CPI is expected to show further cooling, but again, not enough to keep the FOMC from hiking interest rates at least two or three more times. The risk here is that consumer level inflation will run flat or even accelerate from the previous month and confirm the need for more aggressive action from the Fed. You can get the inside track from Wall Street's brightest minds delivered directly to your inbox every day at marketbeatminute.com.